Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So I apologize for looking like I'm, you know, just I'm, I'm getting ready for uh, an event later today. My girlfriend is getting his graduating college, and I need to go put on a monkey suit. But I wanted to say a couple things about, you know, the whole thing with Israeli versus Hamas and the God and like in Goyan Heights and the Gaza Strip and all that stuff. And I and I don't think this is a particularly hot take in certain circles, but it it can be a little inflammatory. The secret to solving the problems in the Middle East and the first step to solving the problems in the Middle East is the abolition of 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 states run primarily by religions. Not only that, probably faith in general. Faith on a personal level is a good. I will never say anything to the contrary. But what I will say is, is that faith, more people have died in the name of religion than anything else in human history. Religion has built up great nations, sparked an industry, and while it, it has certainly unified countries and, and, and made certain and made, you know, global empires possible. The fact of the matter is, is that religion at this point in human history is a detriment to our advancement more than anything. Just take, I mean, look at the American evangelical. They are against science, vaccines, logic, reason. They, 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 there is an entire cottage industry of people fabricating a reality for these people to believe in so they feel safer. You know, the, a, a world that, quite frankly, is, you know, not a real world that actual people live in. Sorry. Ah, oh, Lord of mercy. But so at, at, here's, at the end of the day, you've got to remember, people... You know, Jesus. Jesus did may have died for your sins, but he did. But he he died for your sins, not for you to go and have the state-sponsored killing of of other ethnic groups. I'm not saying now. I'm not saying that, like Hamas. Like Hamas is obviously a terrorist group, and 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 like retaliatory strikes are are like necessary towards them. But you know. The fact of the matter is, is that polling shows that the average Palestinian doesn't support Hamas. Hamas may control, you know, quote unquote, Palestine in name only. But the fact of the matter is, is that most Palestinians view peaceful resolutions, peaceful protests and things of that nature to be much more valuable and effective, you know, because it's kind of hard, you know, it's it's harder to justify, you know, shooting a, a peaceful protester in the head. Um, than it is uh, 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 than it is an enemy combatant. Even though the Israeli Defense Force has there's <laughs> videos online of them shooting children, Palestinian children, in the head for sport. So at the end of the day, um, I hate religion. Period. And I think it's a and and while it has certainly uh, formed a sort of bedrock for many nations around the world, and certainly does have its benefits. It's a detriment to our to our species going forward and should be done away with. Now, I'm not saying that people who believe in it should be done away with. That is not what I'm saying. I am pro-human. I'm anti-religion, not anti-human. What I do think is is that it shouldn't be, you know, it should, it should, people who believe in these things, like who believe angels exist and the earth is a, is is six thousand years old, probably shouldn't be allowed to make public policy on science. That's kind of all I'm just really saying. So, that's all I really have to say on that matter and I really really hope that our that the neck the neck the, the fact of the matter is is that Christianity and faith in general is sort of dying out in the in the Western world and that's not something necessarily to cry over we have the laws and the structures that were based on Christian faith and Christian values and here's and and, and it's and it's completely okay to over time, get rid of the of the laws and values that don't work for our, our society like you know being against things like abortion gay marriage and you know and and i think also faith itself and the books in their purest form aren't necessarily a bad thing the problem is is that at the end of the day people use them as a vehicle for their own bigotry you know the even the american evangelical refuses to like loathes things like food stamps and 
Section 8 housing because they say there are handouts, but then love to talk about Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. And, we'll, and, 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 and it's just blatantly hypocritical. You know, you can't love Jesus with all your heart and then, you know, fuck over poor people. So that th those reasons are why people are leaving, leaving faith. Those are the reasons why it's, it's leaving all over the Western world. And, and honestly, at the end of the day, um, the Western world and the advanced world, like, you know, like, Rus like America, Europe, even Russia and China, more so China than Russia, um, we're going to these these large industrialized countries are going to move forward and then places like the Middle East are going to wallow and burn themselves out fighting over bullshit that doesn't matter. You know, it's it's you know, everybody who and, and over time the people who come to realize, oh, this is some nonsense, are just gonna end up moving to where we live instead. And our countries will be better for it. Because we'll have more diverse thought, more 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 like di like differing like more smart people to work for us and and more in a larger hegemony of people who realize the betterment of humankind is the future but we're we, we're not you know we're like places that fight over religion are just going to continue just spelling their own doom it, it's a waste of time it's a waste of money a waste of resources and above everything else it is a waste of human life you know, I, you know, it, it's, it's no coincidence that the I, AI, that, that, that the, the largest Jewish super PAC, you know, in the country is predominantly funded by Christians, evangelicals who believe that if the Jews own Israel, the rapture will happen, which none of that will happen because none of it is true. It's a, it's a, if you replaced the holy, if you replaced the, if you put a J.R.R. Tolkien on the front of the Bible, it would be just as, it would be just as relevant as the Lord of the Ring books. Perhaps the Lord of the Ring books are even more relevant because they're more recent and more in the popular culture. Ever, Christian, Christian, like, like atheism, agnosticism, or just unaffiliation in religion has grown. 10% in the last 10 years. In the 90s, it was something like 5 or 6%. It, by the 2010, it was at least 11%. Now in the year of our Lord 2020, it's 25%. A quarter of Americans don't believe in it, don't believe in, in a higher power or they're not, or to be more clear, they're part of it, not part of an organized religion. You know, and they're all scrambling, like 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 the Methodists, the Catholics, like even even different Buddhist and Hindu sects and and Muslim sect. Like they're all everyone across the Western world is scrambling and, and, and panicking about the fact that kids like the most the most easy way to get people as a part of your religion is to have people born into it and indoctrinated in it. And the fact of the matter is, is people my age and younger, I'm 23, people my age and younger are calling bullshit. When you're treating people like they're less, when you treat people like they're less than human based on superficial nonsense, like, like who they like to stick their dick in, or if they like to wear women's clothes or not, you know, it's, it's, it, 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 it just doesn't feel right, you know? And then you read the book and you th see Jesus was basically like a, a stone age, like, like Kami, he was a hip, hi hippie, he says, he said, quote, it is easier for a camel to like to, to, to for a camel to walk through to go through a needle or something than it is for a rich man to walk in the kingdom of heaven. I'm butchering that phrase, but you guys know exactly the phrase I'm talking about. He talked about he 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 talked about if you're rich, give all you own to the poor. He says if you if you have a banquet, make like leave space and food for the peace for people who may not have none. He talked about love and compassion and care and oneness. And throughout the entirety of the 20th century, American Christians and, and all of, of, of faiths and people of faith all over the world demonized these types of ideologies because they weren't popular. They weren't truly capitalistic. Now, don't get me wrong. I do believe that you can have, you can care for the poor. You can do everything you need to. To, to care to care for a a, a, a more a, a, like a a less fortunate population in a capitalistic system Singapore has done it 
to varying degrees. The like the Nordic like Nordic countries have have done it. Mo- a lot of Europe has done it too. You know, at the end of the day, y- 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 we have people here who 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 believe in God and talk about how we need to live by Christian values, but then, you know, we have people like Ted Cruz who say we need to rule a country, like, run this country through Christian values, but then we'll vote against a minimum wage hike, we'll vote against more benefits for the unemployed, we'll vote against, like, funding the HUD, they'll, they'll do everything in their power to prevent actual Judeo-Christian values being implemented. Why? Because at the end of the day, Modern religion is not about actually doing what's right. Modern religion and religion in general is about securing power. The Ayatollah in Iran and and Mohammed bin Salman in Saudi Arabia probably would get along just fine if they were sitting across from each other in private. But they use their faith and they use their different types of faith to 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 keep the masses not pointed at how much their lives suck and how much the the policies have have taken away rights and for of their of their of their of their of their of their sisters and mothers and have taken away their ability to work and in in it's it's grotesque you know at the end of the day power begets power and power absolute power corrupts absolutely you know there's no democracy in faith none none you know, there's no like even there's there's even some level of like in some co- co- like communistic structures, there's a type of democracy, you know, there's there's almost there's virtually fucking none in faith. Who picks the pope bit about three or four hundred bishops from all over the world? There's billions of there's a billion Catholics in this on on this planet. A billion in in in, aside, in in only 300 of those people Catholics get to actually vote on who leads the church bullshit bullshit i i condemn i i and, and make no mistake i hate religion as a power structure i hate the way it corrupts and lies and and, and manipulates the common man I don't hate the person who believes in it because it is not their fault that they are being brainwashed and tricked that you can believe in faith all you want, and I respect that. But what you shouldn't do is tell me how to live my life. Freedom of of free like freedom of religion also means freedom from religion. And until we get that down as a country, as a society, as a Western society, as a as a species, we will not progress. We will continue backsliding and going in a downward trend until shit hits the fan. And that's just the fact of it, things. I want to thank every. I want to thank all my patrons who are going to be in the next screen over. Thank you to Brian Ortega and PT Sean for joining our, my Patreon recently. I really, really appreciate that. Um, it, I write a lot of different journal entries. If you like this kind of uh, commentary um, on anything, uh, please consider uh, joining. We it's it's as cheap as a dollar a month, and you get access to everything we put out for our patrons. We also have a loyalty program on the, uh, at starting at five dollars, where you get free shit sent to your door every few months. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for. Uh, I'm guess I'm guessing I'm gonna put this under a little black book, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Doodles. Hoggers.